as leaders of companies, we really narrow our funnel of, of finding the talent that we need to solve our problem. The, the reality is, as painful as it may be to some of us, um, what we do isn't that unique. Hey everybody, this is Tim and Brett from Skillwork. In the video today, we're gonna to be talking about excuses or objections that companies make about changing their hiring practice. Finding talent that fits our process is impractical. You know, I spent um, uh, about 30 plus years of, of my career in the manufacturing space. And, and so I'll, I'll pick on myself because I thought what we did was super unique. I, I thought that our equipment was unique, that, that everything we did was, was unique. And so, you know, you couldn't take somebody from this industry and put them in this industry and expect them to be able to be effective. I think the, the risk in that is that as leaders of companies, we really narrow our funnel of, of finding the talent that we need to solve our problem. The, the reality is, is, as painful as it may be to some of us, um, what we do isn't that unique. You know, whether it's in manufacturing or whether it's in construction, you know, there's, there's things about every organization um, that hopefully is unique. Hopefully you've created a unique culture, or you've created you know, unique experiences, but what we do day to day, the work that we do day to day, the equipment that we use, the, the walls that we build, or the motor that we got to change, you know, that it's, it's not that unique. I would encourage all of us, uh, as we really struggle to solve this skilled trade uh, challenge, this shortage, uh, to be more open. There's talent out there, and, and if somebody has a skill set from a different industry, it might almost benefit you. You know, I, we, we've learned in our experience with, with our company now, we've been able to take individuals out of different industries and put them in, a, in, a, in an industry they've never been in. And actually, a lot of times they bring new way to look at things, you know, which can be a really good thing. So, so I think the encouragement here is really just to be, uh, broaden your thinking. Uh, you've really got to get all options on the table um, to solve this, and, and by being narrow in your thinking, um, you're, you're, you're not helping uh, most likely, or, or you're, you're limiting your, your ability uh, to, to, to build your team. Yeah, I think that's why one of the things we really focus on is what is the aptitude of, the, of, our, of our candidates, for example. So what is their ability to learn and adapt and you know, think on their feet? I was thinking about one of our earlier guys, and, and you reminded me of the story, Brett, where uh, he was getting questioned about whether he had the uh, experience to work in this new industry. And his comment was, whether you're making, uh, whether you're producing hams or orange juice, a motor's a motor, and I can fix them. And his point was that fundamentally, whether your, your motor or your whatever it is that your manufacturing approach uses, fundamentally understanding that goes across many spaces. It's, it's the aptitude and the right person to be able to apply that across industry spaces. It's a great point about the fact that it actually adds value when you bring somebody in from a different industry because they see things from a different perspective. So it's, it's, it's actually a win-win. Every facility is going to have some unique pieces of equipment and, and, and they're going to have some unique processes. And that's okay. But, but you've got some, some, some folks on your team most likely already uh, that that can deal with that. The reality is, is whether you're hiring a new person or whether we're bringing you somebody in a supplemental labor, neither one of them are gonna work on that unique piece of equipment day one. The fact is the majority, 80% of, of your skilled trade uh, individuals are, are, are working on a pretty general yep. uh, uh, need that you have in the facility, which is the majority of the need. Use those specialty people to do that, and most likely those are the ones that you're going to build up internally. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. For more information on how your organization can overcome the skilled labor shortage in America, visit skillwork.com.